What's up guys, Chooch back with another video. And today, we're out here ripping on 100 volt MSX. We're doing some trail riding. And this is my absolutely, my favorite type of riding on an electric unicycle. This is why I do it, the hobby. Uh, I love road riding, but off-road riding is where it's at. Um, I have a big background in uh, dirt bike racing. If y'all didn't know that, I used to race uh, General National Cross Country hair scramble and enduro which is pretty much essentially the same thing same type of trails you're seeing right here uh, it was all in the southeast it was through pine trees it was all kind of fresh cut trails and stuff and i was avid about it as a kid i raced i raced for probably about seven years and was really competitive in it and um, one of the things that actually kind of drove me away from it was just the competitiveness of of the racing and um, kind of growing up with with kind of that overhanging parental figure that was just like practice 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 all the time all the time and looking back at it now I mean that's what you have to do to, to be good at racing you know to be good at, at anything but when you're passionate about something whenever you really love something it just kind of comes and you, you don't even realize that, that you're getting better at it you know you're just loving it for the fun of it, of, of what the hobby is, of doing it. And that's one of the things I, I realized about Unicycle. I looked back at this footage and I was like, dude, I am actually flying on this thing. Like, I really am going fast on this. And whenever I'm out there riding it, I really don't feel like I'm going that fast on these trails. And what it boils down to is it's it's passion, man. Like, I'm, I'm really loving this, you know? I'm not, no one's pushing me to do this. No one's like, hey, you gotta, a unicycle race you got to get out there and practice for uh you know for the team or whatever you, you definitely you got to win this you got to be in the points you got to at least make fourth place um, all that just kind of takes away from the fun of, of something you know if, if you're really if, if, if it interferes with it but understand points all that stuff for racing is necessary but kind of what i realized at the end of all of it was i really this is something i'm truly passionate about and I can see improvement in my writing every single time I go out because I am passionate about it, you know? I love it so much, and I, I genuinely do. Like, I eat, sleep, and breathe these things. My whole entire living room right now has unicycle parts all over it. Whenever I'm not writing, I'm editing these videos, I'm watching videos, learning about them. Uh, it really is. I mean, it, it, it's incredible how this is kind of taking, taking me by storm and something that I love this much and get out there and do it all the time, you know? I mean, this is really, really fast on these trails. And, and I, again, like, I, the only only time I realized that it was, I mean, that I was going this fast, you know? I mean, it looks pretty epic. Like, this is not sped up at all or anything. Um, I've been practicing a lot of uh, the stuff at the bike park, a lot of cornering and stuff. Y'all saw that. A lot, a lot of the um, just weight shift, keeping my center of gravity low and looking ahead. Those are the biggest things with this. You, you got to look ahead in these trails. You never see me looking down at the ground. You never see me looking at the obstacle right in front of me, worried about the root or the rock that's right ahead. I'm looking all the way down the trail. I'm looking as far possible as I can look because there's nothing you can do about the rock or the root or whatever's right in front of you. The farther you're looking ahead down the trail, the more decisions you can make of, of what's ahead. And if there's a rock or root that pops up, your speed is what'll carry you over that, you know? And I, I really was. I was just having the time of my life out here. I don't know if I ate a good breakfast, if I had good coffee this day or what, but man, I was I was just flowing out here, having the greatest time. 